Dear Capcom, this is an open letter from myself, uh, a pretty big fan of Capcom games, especially fighting ones, over the past 15 plus years. EVO 2013 was an unprecedented event for fighting games. Getting the fighting game community noticed and seen through many more venues than usual, especially its primary games and its big showcase titles. Mostly Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012. Now amongst these few games, the biggest one that had the largest impact of them all was Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now, I completely understand, Ultimate Marvel 3 did not sell that much in comparison to the previous title, and probably did not meet the sales expectations as many big, gigantic Japanese game companies seem to be setting upon a lot of the games and developers making those titles. I get it, but over the long run, I think that Ultimate Marvel 3's success has really shown in its community spirit and how people really like to support this game. Sure, there's things about the game I absolutely despise. There's balancing issues, there's characters that are completely broken, and there's a lot of stuff that'll make you stop playing Ultimate Marvel 3 really fast if you understand. But there's a lot of real good to it too. Between its design, how the game feels, how the game looks, and ugh, a lot of stuff that really appeals to fighting game fans as far as its, its ability to be watched on a very large scale. Ultimate Marvel 3 kinda does a lot of things right, and it has a lot of stuff about it that is really weird too. It's very obvious that you guys are interested in the fighting game community, with a whole set of staff that's actually dedicated to fighting games over at Capcom USA, and a game like Street Fighter 4, which is the biggest fighting game of the last generation, or the current generation right now, receiving an update in the form of Ultra Street Fighter 4. And I'm actually pretty excited for it myself, especially that fifth new character. But when it comes to needing an update, properly needing a balance adjustments, really needing somebody to look at the finer aspects of the gameplay and to try to make try to make some changes to how the actual system was approached. I think Ultimate Marvel 3 deserves that a little bit. Now I don't know how good the game has sold in the long run. All I know is that over the past or the first three months of the game selling, it sold about 600,000 units, which I'd imagine is not up to your sales expectations. But I hope that in the long run the game has sold a lot more than that, only because that the price of the game at the majority of places I, I go to is still pretty expensive if it's brand new. I hope this is the case. I hope that Ultimate Marvel 3 has brought you guys a little bit of success. My open note to you guys is that there's a very, very, very large community of people out there supporting this game. Maybe even bigger than some of the biggest fighting games out there, like Street Fighter 4. I implore you guys to take a look at Ultimate Marvel 3's balancing. We had a brief, brief glimpse of the future where Yoshinori Ono was asked this question at Comic-Con over the past weekend about an update or a balance patch to Ultimate Marvel 3 similar to Street Fighter 4 receiving. It's hard to add new content to a game that has to deal with multiple licenses through two different companies, we get that, but I think all we really want is to see Marvel changed a little bit, adjusted in some small way so that we don't have to deal with these extremely powerful characters, maybe give some other characters a spotlight, or perhaps just change a little bit about the entire gameplay system to make everything a little bit more even. And Yoshinori Ono actually gave us a glimmer of hope. There was a spark of imagination in that one moment that everybody could possibly see Ultimate Marvel 3 getting an update because he said after EVO, with the huge stage performance it had and seeing how much support there is for the game, the guys at Capcom saw something. They saw something that could be done, that maybe the game does need a little bit of adjustment. And the problem is, he said, maybe. Now I've seen a lot of different presentations from Capcom and I've been following what they've been doing for a very long time. And I've seen this stuff happen before where they deliver these, these promises and these hopes that, or not really promises, but like kind of hopes that they might actually see something in the future. The thing I could probably attest to this is that huge thing that came up during Comic-Con a couple years ago saying Darkstalkers are not dead. And that really didn't end up being anything. You can kind of say it was Darkstalkers Resurrection, but we were anticipating a remake of the old Darkstalkers games for quite a long time. And Darkstalkers 4 or the next generation Darkstalkers just never existed. So I, I implore you guys, Capcom, don't, don't play with our hearts. Because right now you have a community of people that is ferocious for stuff about Ultimate Marvel 3. They are ferocious for details. They want to see their characters get balance adjustments. Because you really have an entire game, a game that is designed around things being broken, completely broken. And the fact that every character has broken stuff, I think is really interesting. I think that's a cool dynamic for a fighting game to have. But the problem is, you got a few characters in there that are so broken, they change the balance of the entire game. 
similar to Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Unless you would like Marvel 3 to become another Marvel 2, and Marvel 2 has a long history, but a very cultish competitive history amongst its last 10-15 years of existence, I implore you guys to take a look at Ultimate Marvel 3. As myself being a big fan, I would like to see that game get a little bit more polish as, long, as far as an update to the build that the game was eventually released as, and not just small adjustments that were made over the first two months of the game's release. I only hope that this actually gets to the eyes and ears of people at Capcom that understand that us as fans and people that support fighting games really like to see our fighting games cared for in the long run. And as cool as it is that we let fighting games grow for some time, we let people discover things over like the few months that the game is out, I think it's important to attack things that completely change the way the game was supposed to be designed. And I think things like TAC Infinites and stuff like that definitely could be adjusted in the long run. And if you guys happen to agree with this entire sentiment, please leave me a comment below. All I really want to see is an update to Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and it might reinvigorate some of that fighting spirit that I have for that game because it's tough sometimes with the state the game is in right now, but it's still really popular. All I can say is imagine how popular it could be and how many more copies Capcom could sell if they pay attention to what the community really wants. Surely 140,000 people tuning in for the Marvel Finals at EVO should definitely speak words to the executives at Capcom. Thank you guys very much for watching.